Welcome to the Stupendous Marriage Show. My name is Stu Gray. Hey, I'm Lisa Gray. Hi, honey. How are you? Hi, I'm good. How are you? Not too shabby. We have an 18-year-old child now. Oh, my gosh. How did that happen? <laughs> I mean, well, I, I can, know how it happened. I can but... <laughs> tell you how it happened. <laughs> I'm just in shock. So one week we have 20-year anniversary, and now this week an 18-year-old kiddo. They happen really close together. Yeah. So Labor Day was a pretty special day for us for several years in a row because we got married one Labor Day. We moved back to Tennessee the next Labor Day. And the following Labor Day, we had our kiddo. Yeah. And now he's 18. He is an adult officially. Yes. I told him that last night. I was like, hey, so tonight you're um, you're my kid and you're my baby. And uh, when you only have an only child... It's just different, I think, than most people. So, and I told him, I said, hey, tomorrow when you're 18, you're still going to be my baby. And so he he gets it. Thankfully, um, we are very close as a family. So he is okay with that. And yet he obviously starts to want more independence and is wanting more independence. And so like tonight is his birthday night. And instead of hanging out with the fam, which would be the norm, he is at youth group with his friends. And I I love it. And then I'm like, but I want to go. So So it's just as much of a growing up process for us as it is for him. Because moving into different seasons, when he's little, obviously, when kids are little, they need everything, right? Mm -hmm. You know? crying, pooping, you know what I mean? That's that's all they can do as babies, right? Right. And then, you know, they grow, and then they're taking their first steps, and then they're in school, and I, I don't know. He, I don't, we've always been a close family, though, just the three of us, right? Yeah. And then now we're in this season where, well, I guess it really changed during COVID, if we're really going to be honest about that, because he was in private school. He came home in ninth grade. And he really did a great job of being online in school. His school wasn't able to handle it for the next year. So he started doing homeschooling. Mm -hmm. And he's loved that, being able to explore different types of things. And he's really grown as a young man Mm -hmm. uh, in the homeschooling piece. And then, now this year as a senior, he only has three classes. He's in a different homeschooling program because he only needs three classes. He didn't need a full curriculum. And you're right. it's, It's been a stretching season for all of us in all of those seasons, you learn different things. You think when you get it figured out, you know, especially when they're little, little babies, right? Every day they're changing and changing so right. fast. Yeah. Yeah. And then it kind of slows down. But man, I think I knew everything when he was two and then three and then, you know, in school and not. And it just continues to grow and he continues to change and continues to do new things. And we have to continue to adjust. And that's hard. I mean, honestly, I I remember that of when he was a kiddo, when he was really little, every time I thought I got him figured out, (laughs) you know, this system, this thing, this snack, this schedule, whatever it was, I would think I had it figured out. And then guess what? He would change. Yeah. And that is still the case. I mean, he is now 18 as of today. And I made a joke to him about, hey, you get to vote <laughs> oh, <laughs> in the no. next election. Uh-huh. And he's like, I'm not going to. You know what I said? Yes, you are. Like, your vote matters. But the fact is, is that it's a new season for us. And he still being um, in our home and being a senior in high school, of course, is a little different because he has several friends who've graduated last year and are just turning 18. Right. right? And they've some have gone off to college. Some haven't. And he's not interested in going off in college, thank goodness, because I'm really like him and would love for him to be around us and continue to be around us. But learning that we don't know what we're doing either. Like, kids don't come with manuals. So for kids to understand, your parents are just people. And we are not, we don't know everything, shockingly. And we don't know what's going to happen until... It happens a lot of time, and then we make a choice, and it may be good, and it may not be good, but it's the best we can do in the, in the moment. And that is really the season we've been in over the past couple of years with COVID and homeschooling and all that stuff and tra- a lot of transition. And I just keep reminding him, buddy, we love you, and the decisions we're making, we're making to the best of our ability because we love you. And I think that applies to our marriage because our parents were growing up mm, when they were right. raising us. They did the best they could with the tools they had or the tools they didn't have. Right. Right. So you learn 
what skills or lack of skills your parents have. <laughs> right. Well, and that's yeah. what you bring into yeah. your marriage, right? Yeah, so sure. you can come in with some really broken thoughts on relationships. Right. If you've had bad models, you could come in with really great tools mm-hmm. for marriage if you've had great models. I mean, everything influences us, right? It's mm-hmm. not just our parents, but our parents have a big influence on us growing up. So you'll learn, what is that silly story where they talk about the mom who cuts off the ends of the ham, right, for mm-hmm. um, Thanksgiving? And the kid says, Mom, why do you cut off the ends of the ham for Thanksgiving? She's like, oh, I don't know. We'll go ask your grandma. And grandma, well, grandma, why do you cut off the ends of the ham? She's like, I don't know. We should ask great grandma. <laughs> and so yeah. he asks, asks great grandma, great grandma, why do you cut off the ends of the ham when you're making ham for Thanksgiving? She's like, oh, my pan was always too small. Oh, that's so funny. Yeah. So you just pick things up, yeah. right? Not because they have any meaning, but because that's the way your family's always done it. Right. And so creating new traditions, new habits, new intentionalities with new family, because we are supposed to leave and cleave as mm-hmm. husband and wife, create this new family unit. Not that the past was bad, not that the past was wrong, but we're creating a new thing. Right. Well, and I think you and I have done that really well overall. I think part of that has to do with the fact that we're not physically close to half of the family. Uh, So your family is not physically here. Early on, we had to struggle with these are the traditions and everybody goes to grandma and grandpa's house in Kansas and sleeps on the floor. And I said the first year, I'm not sleeping on the floor, (laughs) (laughs) you know, and so I did one year and then the next year we went back with a newborn and I was like, we're getting a hotel. We're not going to have a newborn here. And that was really difficult for everybody because they're like, what do you mean? The tradition of the family is all the young kids come over, young kids, you know, and spend the night on grandma and grandpa's floor. And, and it's a lot of fun. And it's like, well, that season is done, you know, and understanding that season was done was hard. It was very difficult for us. But as we've worked past it, I think we've really been intentional to try to come up with our own traditions, our new traditions. And then just trying to be more flexible. And I, I'm not the best about that. So I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I'm not saying it again. It's hard. I mean, you have you have your personality types. I mean, what does our pastor say? What is his? There's in most relationships, there is two types of people. One is a wow and one is a how. And one is all about the wow and doing the stuff and making it happen and surprises. And then you have the how of like Hey, that's a great idea, but how do we then do that? See, you know? and I think that I think that that is wrong because I think you're both. I think you, you? are a how person, but you're also like the wow. Because I'm more of the introvert type, True. and so I think of wow as let's go do everything and let's do it, make everything happen and yeah. let's plan 75 parties in two days, and that's how you are. Yeah. And then, but you're also like, here's how we do it: one, two, three, four, <laughs> five, six, seven, eight, seventy-five, ninety-five, twenty-five <laughs> things on a list, and you're boom, 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 get it done. So I think I don't know what I am. I'm kind of a, Bleh. I'm not really a wow. <laughs> And I'm definitely not a how. I'm kind of a... Uh. That's not true. I think you would probably be more of a wow if your planner wife didn't require planning. <laughs> because I think... Well, I mean, it depends you know, on what your context. Sure, you know, like sure. how or the wow part is I am more of the performer. I am yeah. more of the... I am more the charismatic, like, speaker type person. But mm-hmm. you're not not that. You definitely do that well also. It is way not as comfortable for me as it is for you, babe. So, yeah, I appreciate that. But it is purely out of desire to try to do it that even never happens. <laughs> yeah, so it's it's just a really cool season right now. Having an 18-year-old, learning to navigate how you um, parent an adult, a young adult. Pray for us, please, because we need it. I mean, we really want it to be great, and we're very fortunate that we're very close as a family. And so our prayer is just that that would continue and that we would really – Give him space to grow into who the Lord has him to be. So thinking about our marriages again as we wrap up, thinking about seasons of parenting, Mm -hmm. thinking about like the tools or not that you came into marriage with, what good models did you have from your parents? What not so hot models did you have from your parents? And then have you allowed those things to determine weirdness in your own marriage or have you changed things moving forward i mean really thinking about that being intentional about how you're doing relationship are you only doing what your parents did 
or are you forging a new family path as husband and wife? I think being intentional about that, talking about it openly and honestly, will be beneficial for your marriage. Absolutely. So speaking of your marriage, we would love to talk to you. If you got questions about today's episode, about parenting, we'd love to hear from you. Stupendousmarriage.com slash voicemail. That's open. You can send us a voicemail anytime. We would love to hear from you. We'll talk to you next time. See ya. 